rule of law, nor did the uh, Democrats on Capitol Hill. Where were you on uh, President Clinton's uh, perjury and obstruction of justice? Did you support impeachment and conviction of him for those crimes? For his, yes, his self-confessed well, self It's his a high crime perjury. if a Democrat does it, but if a Republican does it, it was what? A prosecutorial overreach. Chris, he admitted to committing perjury. Right. What? I'm just trying to find consistency here from Cato Byrne. He admitted to, to perjury and obstruction of justice should throw a president out of office who's been elected twice, but it shouldn't cause a day of damage to the life of Scooter Libby. Right. We don't have we don't have an admission of perjury and obstruction of justice well, we like we did in Bill Clinton's case. But we have a jury that convicted him of it which means something still in this country, right? I mean, we have a, a jury that convicted him of it and a Bush-appointed judge that sentenced him and said the case against Libby was overwhelming. And we have presidential pardon authority that is plenary in order to write injustices. Right. So your, so your okay. argument is that anyone that was convicted of over three years for obstruction of justice should now, their sentence should now be commuted by, the, by President Bush. I do think President Bush, just like President Clinton before him, prior to his pardons on the way out the door, should be far less stingy with the presidential okay. pardon authority. Oh, I just remember, I you know, Kate, inconsist inconsistency is the world we look at here in Washington, but is it 50 Republican senators voted to remove Bill Clinton from office for perjury and obstruction of justice to kick him out of the White House he'd been elected to. An entire U.S. House of Representatives voted to impeach him on the grounds of perjury and obstruction of justice, what they called a high crime. And now, when Scooter Libby, a Republican, is, is found guilty by a jury of his peers for those exact charges, you and your crowd stand up and say, cheer, great news, let him go. It's unbelievably inconsistent. On the other hand, the Democrats who let Bill Clinton walk in their own hearts we're equally inconsistent if they're out there calling for the head of Scooter Libby. This is not a town of great consistency. Well, we live in a, we live in a state of permanent amnesia in Washington, I think, Chris. Well, neither side. What, yeah. what was that old phrase? Maybe it's sex. Is what's good for the goose is good for the gander. Remember that one? We yeah. should remember that one. Thank you, Kate. You're not the only one that's wrong here. And thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Chris. You're not entirely right either. Thank you both, Thanks, gentlemen Chris. and lady. Thank you. Congratulations.